my name is Lila. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Weekly, weekly news. news. Today is Wednesday the 15th and this is episode 26. Here are a few quick announcements before we get into our first segment. Reminder, tomorrow is Spring Picture Day and you should have got the info from your advisory teacher about it. March Madness ba- Basketball is tomorrow, March 16th. Progress reports print- are printed this week, so turn in all your work. Want to get a physical for track and field on March 23rd? Make sure to get a physical form from the office. Next week, there is no school Wednesday through Friday because of conferences. Parents can sign up for conferences through the link set in Parent Square. And now on for our first segment, Welcoming New Staff, Part 2. What's up? It's Miss Jaya. You know, my name is Ayana Roberts. Hello everyone, my name is Leonardo Lozano. I go by he, him. Hi, my name is Nancy Mendez Ramos. <laughs> my name is Fink. My pronouns are they, them. What should students call you? Um, you, can, you guys can call me by Ms. Ramos. Yeah. You can call me Miss Yaya. You can also call me Mr. Leo, Mr. Lozano. So you can call me Fink. I don't want any entitle in front of that. What is your job position at HB Lee? I am an assistant secretary. I'm the health teacher here, 7th and 8th grade, room 202. I work for Sun. I'm also an America member. I am a building-based substitute, so I am typically here four days a week, and you have probably already had me in one of your classes because I've been here since Thanksgiving break. Something you want to share about yourself? Um, whenever I'm not at school or I have vacation time, I like to travel. And I could dance battle anybody. If you want to dance battle, just come to 202. Fun fact about me is that I went to state um, on my sophomore and junior year of high school for discus, and I, well, I love my job and I go Hawks. One thing I would like to share about myself is I was just accepted into OHSU's ABSN program. So next January, I will start studying to be a nurse. Thank you, Mahana, to Mia, Maria, and Jasmine. Now on to our next segment. Maya Angel was a popular poet and civil rights activist. She published seven autobiographies. Maya Angel had several books of poetry and is credited with a list of plays to Delvin shows spanning over 50 years. Maya Angelou was born in the year 1928 and died in the year 2014. Junko Tobin was born in September 22, 1939 and died on October 20, 2016. Junko Tobin was the first Japanese woman to ascend to the seven summits in the highest peak on every continent. Frida Kahlo is a famous painter in Mexico and is well known for her self-portraits and was born in July 6, 1907. Her paintings touched female issues such as abortion, miscarriage, birth, and so much more. She sadly died on July 13, 1954. Marie Curie was well known as a polis and chemist and was the first woman ever to win a Nobel Prize. She was born in November 7, 1867 and died in July 4, 1934. Wow, that was really interesting. I didn't know that. I know, right? Now on to for the next segment, Class My Staff Appreciation. Even though it was the last week, we still appreciate you all. I really appreciate Miss B because she's the best staff member. I really appreciate Miss Shelter for what she does at the school, all her work. Bro! I really appreciate Miss Scott for always getting me to class. Hi, my name is Logan. I'd like to appreciate Kendall because he's inspiring. I appreciate Mr. Rashawn because he's nice to all the kids at HBLE. My name is Axion and I want to appreciate Miss because she's very nice. She's always kind. And Mr. McDermott, even though you get some of nerves, like, you like, very nice, so. I'd like to appreciate Miss Cecilia because she's a nice and good office lady. Yeah. 
I appreciate Miss Scott because she is nice to me. I would like to um, appreciate the lunch ladies for coming to school every day and serving us food. Even though I so I appreciate Mr. Kendall because like we've had so many talks, like man to man, or not so many, but like we've talked a few times, man to man, and I, I've learned a few things from him. I appreciate Mr. Matt because he gave me pizza that one time. Sucks to suck losers. That was a great segment. I agree. You know what I'm thinking. See it in your eyes. You I'm Sophia and I'm here with I'm Sally. I'm the nurse coordinator for the Student Health Center Telemedicine Program. What's that program about? So we're bringing um, doctor's visit to the school. So during school hours, if we have students with medical or behavioral health needs, we could get them on a virtual visit with a medical provider. That way they could see a doctor without needing to get to a clinic, without parents needing to be there, um, without taking the whole day off of school. We could um, get uh, kiddos connected while they're in school. And it's free, um, it's free with no out-of-pocket cost too. Well, that's so cool. How, how do you sign up? Um, you could uh, talk to your counselor or talk to um, the school nurse in the health room and then they will put the referral in for me and then I will call parents to set it up. So it's completely free? Mm -hmm. No out-of-pocket costs, so if there's no insurance, it's not a problem. If there is insurance, then we'll bill insurance, but either way, there will be no out-of-pocket costs from, from family. When does the program start? Um, we started last month, um, and so um, it, it is a newer program, and so that's why if there's any type of medical needs or behavioral health needs, you can let us know, and then we could get you connected. And usually we could, we'll find, it, find an appointment within the week. Okay, thank you. Now it's time for It's Lit. What book are you recommending and who's the author? Percy Jackson and the Olympians and the Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. What's the storyline? It's about Percy trying to save his friend from a ogre, I believe, I forgot. But trying to save him from being eaten. What's your favorite part of the book and why did you enjoy it? The part where uh, Grover sends a message to Percy and he's in a wedding dress because I think it's really funny. Is the book in our school library? Yes. Make sure to scan the QR code to recommend a book. Now we have to talk about spring break. Now it's about to be a new season, which means new sun clubs. Spring sun clubs starts at April 10 and lasts all the way to June 1st. The class will be from 2.15 to 4.30. Forms will be due on uh, March 21st, so make sure to grab a form as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, go Hawks! For the clubs. Don't forget to sign up. Now on to track and field. Don't forget to sign up. Now time to find out the new raffle prize. Hi, my name is Brooklyn. And my name is Rosa Reha. And this is the new raffle prize. 
This week's prize, we have some Japanese candy um, and snack mix. So in this bag, which is actually really cute, um, it has over 20 pieces of assorted candy and snack mix, and we were going to do a little taste test for y'all, but you know, things change. <laughs> That was so cool. That's all for today. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Make sure you put your tongs in. Bye. <laughs> the lonely moments just get lonely. Goodbye. Here are a few quick announcements before we get into this first segment that you just interrupted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You got this! You gotta be quiet. It's like, I'm not on the next segment, classified staff appreciation. I cannot work when he's right there just standing there. He's <laughs> just like, yes, no, yes. So holy. No. You, you gotta go. You gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go. You guys did great. Okay. <laughs> you also hot. So you guys did great too. Bye. Bye. Oh.